on. Um, I went to Walmart this morning to do a $20 Walmart challenge. I went over a couple bucks, but this was $15 for a lose combo. I figured it'd be something good to get. I could use it, then give it to a kid afterwards. Hank Parker edition. I couldn't believe it was just 15 bucks for a lose combo. So we ended up spending $22. So we went over $2. They got that. Got some Mr. Twisters. Got two of these. Those were only 82 cents. I think I got some hooks here. Yep. Some jig heads to put the Mr. Twisters on. So I'm going to uh, get this set up and we'll see if we can catch some fish off this. Hopefully we catch something. These little things look weird. Be interested to see if something bites those. And those. Those will probably catch something. I've used these before. The rod. I can't believe the rod and reel was only 15. I mean, I know it's not a very expensive rod, but still lose. I'll do uh, make a kid a good gift after I get done with it today. So uh, stay tuned. Let me get set up, and we'll get out here and see if we can catch anything. Well, we got our first fish on the. Walmart challenges the Walmart rod and it's a big old red eye used in the little Mr. Twister calm down buddy Mr. Twister right there little red eye rock bass we call them red eye oh red eye make him look bigger it's long army long arm him he's about eight inches so pretty good size so that's one fish on the $20 gear. Not bad, not bad. This little rod is actually pretty nice. I'm sure it wouldn't hold up to a big fish. But for something like this, pan fishing or something like this, perfect. We're just kind of jigging the Mr. Twister slow rolling it popping it a little bit I got a few bites and I caught that one doing it this way just reeling it I never even got a hit for about 30 minutes I figured I'd switch up the tactics a little bit but let's see if I can get another one stay tuned guys well, we got something Mouse on the Mr. Twister. Uh oh. We hung. We hung on something. We gotta go waiting. I'm not gonna lose him. Oh no, it's deep. I see you, buddy. I can't get to you. I'm going to log. There we go. We got him. Looks like the same fish.
I wouldn't leave you stuck on that log. Nope. Well, there he goes. <laughs> really? Woo! Saved him. He's way up on there. Well, this is going to be fun. Too much fun. Let's see what we can do. I want a small mouth. Alright, guys. We're going to uh, make a move. Going down the uh, drive on down the river. I want to try to get some small mouth. Maybe a large mouth. Either one. It's not tons of largemouth in North Fork, but there are, there are certain places that have a bunch, and I'm going to head to one right now. <clears throat> There's a dead turtle or something. What do you guys hate most about fishing, like walking to your spots and or wade fishing? For me, it is running into these big ass spider webs hate them I'd rather see 10 snakes than run into one spider web and I just did on my way through there the first time had it all over my face oh god I hate it I hate spiders not scared of them it's just I hate them and the fact that being so tiny and you can't see them that makes it a hundred times worse but I'm going to get to the car and make about a 15 minute drive and uh, hopefully we get some pass. Stay tuned. Give you guys a little update. Um, love the little rod and reel. $15. You can't beat it. Morning coffee. Red Bull hooked me up with sponsors. I know I'm a diabetic and shouldn't drink, which I drink. I drink maybe two, try to drink like two Red Bulls a day, and then that's the only sugar that I get from drinks. I drink uh, water with the uh, sugar-free Kool-Aid packets, and then I drink a uh, Diet Pop. I shouldn't drink the Red Bulls, period, but I hate coffee, and I need something to get me up and going. But, uh, like I said, the rod's awesome. Fifteen dollars, can't beat it. I need a. If anybody knows a local kid that can use a spinning combo, I mean, it couldn't be a small kid. Well, it could be, but it'd be harder to teach. Uh, let me know, and I will hook them up with this one when I get done with it. And uh, got something big in the works which would be for our area so local guys y'all need to stay tuned we're uh working on the details and everything of it before i announce anything <clears throat> i think it'll be uh something awesome i got a few people helping me just thought we're gonna come together and do something really good for the kids in the community We'll probably uh, do it in the fall give us time to uh, get everything planned out real good so it's something that's going to work good and we're not going to just half do it and go in there half cocked we're going to be ready to do this and we're going to do it right so it works good but soon you guys will see advertisement and stuff for it and uh, I'll let you know. And one more thing, uh, I've worked with Cranked Fishing for a while. I'll link the uh, uh, website, web link in the description. And I've worked out to get you guys a 20% discount on Crank Fishing uh, soft plastics jigs. They got apparel, 
it's a nice company. I mean, they don't have a ton of stuff to choose from, but what they do is good stuff. I use the uh, Wiki Worms, and they're just like a Senko. They're a little uh, cheaper. They're like $4.29 a pack. Then you get your discount. But I mean, it's not it's not going to be cheaper than a Senko if you just go and order one pack. Because you got to pay shipping. But if you go and order three or four or five packs, or four or five jigs too, then you're going to come out ahead. And I promise you will not be disappointed in the worms. Or the jigs. They got flipping jigs, and they got like football jigs, and they got vibing jigs, which are like a chatterbait jig. They got some good stuff. I will uh, put the discount code in the description with the uh, web link. And it is uh, hooked 20 for 20% 20 off. But uh, I won't get up. What the heck? I'm gonna get up here to this other spot and then uh, try to get a bass or something. Something other than a red eye or rock bass. I want to uh, like to look into a two or three pounds of smallmouth on that. Just see what it feels like. So, uh, stay tuned. I will be back. That was close. Very close. Had somebody else's freaking line. I'm on the fish. It's beginning to be a struggle. Can't even get the red eyes to bite. Now that it's heating up. Thought I had one that was tangled up fishing line, obviously. See my lure fly off of it. Yeah, hung up on everything. About the fifth time I've just about smacked myself in the face with this lure. Trying to fish these shelves that's stacked through here, there's rocks. Trying to fish in the middle of the deeper spots. I'm getting hung up a lot though. again I don't know I'll try for a little bit longer stay tuned guys well just finished the uh, challenge the uh, $20 Walmart challenge well, I spent 22 uh, I guess you could take 20 bucks and go to Walmart <clears throat> and actually have a decent day on the water fishing I did I just uh, I went to the river and I lost all my hooks and bait and hangups. I caught a couple fish and got a bunch of bites. It's actually fun, just uh, seem more relaxing than lugging around three or four rods and your backpack full of stuff. I really enjoyed it. Now I look forward to doing it again. Pick a different store next time or something. But uh. 15 bucks for that lose uh, combo was nice. Should make a uh, kid a good setup to use. I'm gonna use it one more time in a challenge before I give it away. Hopefully, let's see, tomorrow is the 4th of July, and hopefully in the morning I'm gonna be wade fishing with, meeting up with somebody to wade fish or a couple people, I'm not sure yet. Or I might do a, kayak fishing one or the other and Thursday I'm gonna probably do another challenge with the rod then I'll give it away I have to find somebody that could actually use it so not a little little kid but uh, Thursday I think I might do like a micro fishing challenge and use it take like five bucks or ten bucks to go to Walmart and buy some bait do uh, maybe like a red worm challenge the little night crawlers the red worms the tiny ones 
see what we can catch with those. Just be uh, mostly micro fishing, pan fishing. I think I'll choose a different spot than the river though, because I lost a lot of my tackle just on hang ups and snagged on the rocks and stuff. But uh, it was fun. Very enjoyable. It got a little hot. Not too bad. If you're ever out fishing, guys, and you get too hot, just remember you're at the water. Go lay down and cool off in the water. We've been having uh, our kayak tournaments, and I don't know, it doesn't bother me the heat because, like I said, I'll get in the water and cool off, but we're only going to be fishing until like 12 o'clock Saturday. Which is gonna make it rough, but uh, I sorry, camera cut off for some reason. Uh, like I was saying, it's fishing the 12 is gonna make it a little rough because the bite is just not being good. So, getting three good fish to put on the board, it's gonna be a challenge for sure, but uh, they make the rules, I follow them. I'll fish it and do my best, try my best, talk and do. I don't want to see anybody uh, get sick from the heat or anything, so it's just you know, whatever they want to do, I guess. But uh, trying to get out more videos and show more stuff than what I was doing. I was just showing catches, mostly, and that's it. But I figured I could show more of what I do and the day, how I do it during the day. You know what I'm saying? Just even like the video I put out yesterday, I didn't catch any fish. But I mean, it was a beautiful place and I wanted to show it off. So I went ahead and uh, uploaded the video so you guys can see it. I just want to uh, be able to show you guys all the areas I go to in case anybody's local that wants to fish them and has never seen them I mean it's public water so you need to go do it try to find any and every place you can to fish switch it up see a lot of people act like they get mad over that but I mean it's a lake what can you do I mean I don't want a hundred people fishing my hole that I love the most but uh I usually try to keep those secret <laughs> or other people's uh secret if they don't want anybody to know about it I might fish it and I won't really say where it's at but uh, if somebody finds it it's good for them hopefully they can catch a big one I'm going to uh, get to the house. Got some stuff to do today. I haven't eaten or worked. I'm starving to death. But, uh, tight lines, guys. You gotta get outside, get on the water before you can catch anything. So, uh, you guys need to uh, follow me on Instagram and I'll follow you back so we can uh, see all the fish pictures everybody posts. I post uh, more stuff on Instagram than I do uh, Facebook. So uh, if you more guys want to follow me on there, you can. I put all my uh, fish pictures on there. I always leave the uh, link in the description. And remember, go uh, check out Keith's photography page on Facebook. The guy that made my bomb ass intro. I love it. He's awesome. You guys check him out. Holler at him. Might go do some work for you guys. You never know. But um, thanks guys for watching. I'm going to head to the house.